Hello, everyone. My name is Javier Pizones, and I'm the new chair of the program committee in Eurospine. And we will be preparing the next uh, three annual meetings for you. We, uh, following the surveys that we have done in the last years, we know that people are demanding more educational content. And we think we have adapted this to the expectations. Uh, hope you like it for this year. Uh, we have sacrificed the quickfire sessions uh, to bring you more uh, oral presentations with the best of uh, session being extended and located on Friday before uh, the annual meeting closure. Uh, we also have 11 specific sessions uh, for you to enjoy. Almost each one of them uh, followed by a keynote lecture uh, given by a, a high uh, key opinion leader in spine surgery. This year we will count with uh, Dr. Garbarini, uh, Dr. Zamartis, uh, Dr. Rutten, Dr. Manion, Dr. Pejano. Heiko Kohler will be also uh, be with us. And uh, Dr. Menezes, uh, president of the Brazilian Hispanic Society. Uh, we have also uh, new uh, panel discussions. This will be one or two cases discussed by different surgeons and different approaches, conservative or surgical. Uh, and we have prepared uh, one panel discussion on lumbar stenosis and another one on idiopathic scoliosis uh, that I think you will enjoy. Then uh, on Friday, we will have the big debate that we all like. Uh, this year is going to be on robotics and navigation. And the leader will be uh, Dr. Schnacke. And we have also created uh, the new version uh, just for uh, your spine members, which will be the Breakfast Club. And this uh, will be small uh, groups, uh, very in contact uh, with the key opinion leaders. This year, we have four different ones, uh, one on trauma, one on tumors. We have a social media one and one on deformity. So I think that uh, and uh, with all this uh, new content, you're going to like it and you will enjoy. And the program committee welcomes you all to uh, the new Eurospine meeting in Milan. See you all there. Dear colleagues, my name is Anni Avikko and I'm an orthopedic and trauma surgeon from Finland. It will be a pleasure to give a presentation at USA pre-Congress Day. After my presentation, you will know what our, our study group found when we followed 48 healthy volunteers from the age of 8 to the age of 34. We followed them with repeated lumbar MRIs and clinical examination. We found an interesting correlation between disc degeneration at the age of 18 and low back pain at the age of 34. See you in Milan. Hello, Antonio. Hi, Marco. How are you? Fine. Quite okay with my voice. Uh, it's coming back. Maybe you need a doctor. Uh, anyway, it's very nice to introduce our mega annual meeting, Eurospine 2022, Milan, October 18 to 21st. And we're here with Vice President of Eurospine and upcoming President. Marco, tell us about the program, what makes special, especially the educational part of the event. We have a pre-day meeting, we have a pre-day course, in fact, um, which is full of science with the best speakers in Europe at the moment. Then we have selected a fantastic program over the next three days, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Our committee has worked so hard in selecting abstracts and in designing an educational program which is going to appeal not only surgeons, but also doctors in general, physiotherapists, research, basic scientists. This is our public. We are Eurospine and we want to embrace as many specialties as possible in spinal care. Oh, it's amazing. And I'm so happy to have the possibility to get in touch with people from all around Europe and even more. Yeah, even more. Exactly. Even more. We have delegates from South America, uh, hopefully China and uh, maybe from far away uh, as well. The program embraces also a special guest, and that's you, Antonio. You are this year our medal lecturer. What is the topic? The title of my lecture is Under the Same Sky. For the first time in the history, six generations live at the same time under the same sky. How do we communicate 
with those generations. So it's the use of data and maybe perhaps even artificial intelligence targeting the, to different uh, strata of the society. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Antonio Lizzi. This and further contents at the Eurospine meeting, please subscribe www.eurospine.org. See you all in Milan. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hi. We know that spinal deformity affects quality of life in patients and reduces their autonomy. But did you know that 3D movement analysis can provide a dynamic diagnosis on the limitations of mobility that static X-rays cannot deliver? To know better about the benefits of 3D movement analysis, attend our large symposium at Eurospine this year organized jointly with the European Society of Movement Analysis in Adults and Children. We are waiting for you. Hello everybody, this is Thomas Platter, your current Eurospine president. It's a pleasure for me to look forward to see all of you at our annual meeting this October in Milan. If you are curious what sessions you would like to go into, listen to, participate, I would recommend you go for the uh, presidential address uh, session. I will come back to the presidential address content in a minute because that session also is the session where we have the gold medal lecture. And you may want to listen to uh, Dr. Uh, Alizzi from, from Italy. He's a specialist in uh, media communication. So he will tell you how to communicate with the media. We are all used to com uh, communicating with our patients, aren't we? But um, if your institution or your, yourself individually want to communicate with media, this is the place to go and listen to because he is an expert, as I said, and he will give you some hints and some tips how to deal with that. This session then will be, this talk then will be followed by my, my presidential address. And I will come to uh, a similar, quite similar topic, which is communication with politicians and with patients. Because believe it or not, the way you communicate with your uh, stakeholder patients around you can be totally different than, for example, the way you need to communicate with beyond Europeans, uh, different cultures, diversity. That is one of the issues I want to talk about. Also, you need a different language whether you address politicians and, and patients. So if you're interested in listening to all of that, come to our gold uh, medal lecture and come to the presidential address all in one session, all within one and a half hour or so. Also some nice awards giving away in that session. And I hope I will see you in Milan. Looking forward to see you all back then. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Cristiano Menezes from Brazilian Spine Society. And the reason I'm here is to invite you to join us to the next Eurospine 2022 in Milan. Will be a great chance for us to be in person, again, discussing hot topics as my keynote lecture that will be about anterior and lateral approaches to the L4-S1 segment. We're going to have the chance to debate, to discuss, and to be together again. See you soon in Milan. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to Milan for our 2022 annual meeting. Please join us on the last day of the meeting itself for an exciting Spine Tango Lunch Symposium. During this, we will present you with new developments in the registry, and these include new features such as electronic prompts. You will also be introduced to recent studies using Spine Tango. These include quality of life and mortality after surgical treatment, as well as development of machine learning based models for predicting outcome after surgery. And finally, representatives of different national registers will share their experience and challenges in adopting or developing the registry itself. Join us then on Friday the 21st of October lunchtime to discuss these topics and share your views. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Klaus Schnake. I'm an orthopedic surgeon from Erlangen in Bavaria, Germany. And did you know that we will have a panel discussion at Eurospine in Milan this year about trauma meets degeneration? No? I will tell you. Here, a good example, for instance, old patient having a fracture as well as a stenosis. What to do if the patient comes along and complains about pain and leg pain and etc. So this is the topic, trauma meets degeneration and we would like to see you there joining our panel discussion together with my colleagues.
from Germany, as well as from Italy, Marco Telli, from Greece, Panagiotis Koroveses, as well as from Spain with Luis Alvarez Golovic. So I hope to see you there on Wednesday, 19th of October at Eurospine. Don't miss it. Surgery for degenerative cervical myelopathy. Is it worthwhile or futile? We performed the study using data from Norspine, the Norwegian Registry for Spine Surgery, and dichotomized patients into age groups 50 to 70 and 70 years and older. The primary outcome was change in the neck disability index score one year after surgery. For the younger age cohort, the NDI was reduced from 33 points down to 24. And for the older patients who had the same amount of major complications, their NDI score was reduced from 36 points to 26. We conclude that surgery for myelopathy in the elderly is worthwhile and should not be denied based on age alone. Hi, what happens to the nucleus when you inject conchonase ABC or papain? What happens to the biomechanical behavior of the motion segment? Will it cause instability? How is the range of motion? And when we treat the intervertebral disc with biomaterials, how will they distribute? Within this study, we try to give you answers to these questions. And with the use of organ culture, the enzymes, um, biomechanical testing, uh, micro CT of opaque hydrogels, we analyze these questions. So, see you at the Eurospine. Bye.